Dynamic soaring is a flying technique used by soaring birds like albatross to gain energy from the wind. It consists of four characteristic phases. First, the windward climb. In this phase, the bird trades the kinetic energy with potential energy while it also balances out the drag with the lift acquired from the wind. Second, the high altitude turn. In this phase, the bird reorients itself towards the tailwind. Third, the leeward descent. The bird then starts descending, trading the gain potential energy with kinetic energy. Fourth, the low altitude turn. In this final phase, the bird reorients itself for the next cycle, beginning the process anew. Not only this unique phenomenon is fascinating to biologists, transferring it to unmanned aerial vehicles will be an engineering feat. For decades, the trend was to configure the dynamic soaring phenomenon as a dynamic optimization problem or an optimal control problem. We object to this trend because it does not work in real time and the soaring birds are not capable of high computation. In fact, albatrosses use the sensors in their nostrils to sense the changes in air, then take the path that allows for minimum to no flight effort. Noticeably, they possess periodic behavior while doing so. The albatross behavior resembles a control technique found in literature called extreme seeking control. In this control technique, a perturbation is added to the nominal value of a parameter and the relative change in the objective function is sensed. That change in measurement is then used to update the nominal value of the parameter. We hypothesize that dynamic soaring is a manifestation of extremum seeking control techniques in nature. We have used this control technique to successfully replicate what soaring birds do in nature. For that, we have used two structures of extremum seeking control, both of which work perfectly as a proof of concept. The first structure is what is referred to as the classic structure. And the second structure is referred to as a control affine structure. Results show that the energy extracted from the wind balances out the energy traditionally lost in flight dynamic systems due to the non conservative drag force. And the total energy upon completing the dynamic soaring cycle is constant or near constant. Our results in real time are comparable to those obtained via powerful optimal control solvers which do not run in real time. We believe, our proof of concept opens the door for many possible research and investigations on finding applications of these simple control systems, extreme seeking, in systems biology and natural phenomena.